is the installation of a factory connection shock spring on a KYB shock. A KYB shock versus a show shock, there are some small differences. You still do not need to remove the clevis to remove the shock spring or install a shock spring. However, there is no clip that is under the spring retainer. There's a cutout instead on a retainer of the bump rubber cup. The same as a show shock on the KYB you loosen the top preload ring. On the KYB, you need to release it all the way to the top of the press. Then, when you also loosen the bottom preload ring, again, you need to remove it to the end of the threads so you allow yourself enough room to remove the clip on the bottom of the shock. These are the parts of the KYB shock. You can see you have a bump rubber cup, you have a spring retainer, which does not have a clip on the bump rubber cup. Instead, you have a notch or a cutout to remove it from the shaft. Then you also have a spring seat. After you've released the preload rings and loosened them all the way to the top of the threads, the shock spring will allow to move down. You must move the preload rings all the way to the top of the threads on the shock body to ensure you have enough room to pull the retainer down and where the groove is to fit it around the shock shaft. First, you want to pull the bump rubber down away from the bump rubber cup. This will allow you to remove the spring retainer around the shock shaft properly. You can let the bump rubber cup drop Pull the retainer off the end of the shaft and remove the standard shock spring. On a KYB shock, factory connection spring, the small end goes towards the top of the shock. Be sure to measure the shock spring both ends to ensure you have the small end facing up. There is also a collar that we use on a factory connection shock spring. This shock spring fits both Showa and KYB 46 millimeter shocks. Therefore, on the KYB, we need a small collar to ensure proper fitment. Simply reverse the process to install the new shock spring, again with the small end up. Next, install the collar. The spring seat. Once the retainer is then in there, you can pull the bump rubber back up into the bump rubber cup. Move the shock spring with the retainers flat against the slotted retainer and apply preload to the bottom preload ring onto the shock spring. Again when you apply some preload to the shock spring, add three to four millimeters of preload Set your rider sag once the shock has been installed onto the bike and tighten up the top preload ring to ensure the spring will not rotate or come loose from vibration. That's how you install a factory connection shock spring onto a KYB shock.